Hi guys, it's Kevin Alterbright with another product information video. So today we're going to be talking about one of our most popular products in terms of dressings and it is tie gloss, which is our high gloss uh, sprayable tie dressing. So this is a liquid based tie dressing, uh, it's not a gel. You can apply this a number of ways, you can apply it in the more traditional fashion where you spray it into a brush, apply it to the side wall attire for a really high gloss finish, uh, or you can apply it using one of our uh, Alterbright tire applicators, which these small um, foam applicators. So when you apply this to your tire, you want to leave it at least an hour or so to let it dry fully. If you over apply this product and obviously you move your vehicle too quickly, because it is a on the thicker side, you can get some sling, but it's a really great everyday tire dressing. So if you're using it for trade or you're using it for Valentin, you're using a lot of tire dressing, this is the one to go for. Like I say, you can apply it with a brush, so that means that the application process is a little bit faster, or you can do it with the applicator. Whenever you've dressed a tire using a dressing like this, we always recommend that you go over it with a microfiber towel afterwards, just to get rid of any excess, especially gathering around the letters. Um, it is a really high gloss dressing. You can multi-layer this one as well. So if you want one coat, will you give you a, uh, a gloss dressing, or you can have two coats, which will give you a really high gloss. You can apply it exactly the same methods, just allow, time for it to cure in between coats. So we'll go through to the bay and let's give you a quick demonstration. All right, thanks for joining me in the bay. So we're gonna give you a demonstration of our tire gloss, tire dressing. Now, the application process for this product is you would normally apply it to uh, an applicator like this. This is one of our waffle tire apps. So what you're gonna do is a couple of sprays into the applicator and then spread just like that. Now what you want to do when you're applying this type of dressing is to make sure that you get the tire dressing into all the grooves and in between the letters on the tire as well, so you're not going to miss any. Uh, also when dressing tires, you want to make sure that you go up to the shoulder, but no further. So we would go up to the edge of the tire there, but no further and onto the tread. Because um, remember obviously any sort of tire dressing like this, um, it's sort of silicon based will be slippery so you don't want to get that anywhere near your tire tread. It's always a good idea as well when you're dressing tires to make sure that when you finish you rotate the tire so you move the car forward or backwards and that'll allow you to get to the top edge of the shoulder at the bottom of the tire. Otherwise what you do is you dress the whole tire when you move the vehicle you find you missed a spot. So you can also apply this with a brush as well. So a lot of alters will use uh, like a paint brush or something like that we tend to use one of these detailing brushes. So similar sort of process, spray some into the brush. You can also have this ready in a container. So if you've got a, an empty fire lid or something like that, dip your brush in there. The only problem with applying it with the brush is you do tend to get a lot of excess products, but it is a little bit easier to get it around the tire. So it's a little bit easier to work it in. Now, if you do happen to get an excess of product, you can always remove any excess by going around the tire with a microfiber towel afterwards. So as you can see, it, you do get a lot more product that comes out of the brush in one go than you would with the applicator. Um, it's a little bit easier to go around. So remember as well, you can also do multiple coats with this dressing. So this first coat that goes down will dry to a sort of semi-gloss finish. Um, if you want to get it a really glossy finish, you might want to apply a second coat. It's always, it's always worth, with a tire dressing, applying in um, light coats and building it up rather than trying to get a glossy coat straight away. So if you go in and apply a lot of products to get a really glossy finish, it will work, um, but you will have an issue then with sling and over application of products. If you want to get a high gloss finish, do a light coat first, allow that to dry for half an hour to an hour, go in with your second coat. Now, with any of the thinner tire dressings like this one, once you've applied this, you do want to leave the vehicle sitting for as long as possible, ideally around about an hour, um, because obviously if you drive off before the product's fully dried, again, you could have issues with sling. So what I'm just going to show you is, if you do apply an excess amount of product, grab yourself just a standard microfiber towel, one that isn't going to go near the paintwork, and all you want to do is get your towel and just go around and just dab within the lettering and the pattern so you're actually lifting any excess products out of the tyre and away from the surface. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to go around and wipe it with a towel because if you wipe it you're going to remove too much product. So you just want to dab it 
and that will soak up any excess product. And obviously if you get any on the wheel or on the rim, anywhere like that, you can also use a towel just to go around and just to get any off the rim just like that. Okay guys, so that's tie gloss. That's one of our more popular tie dressings. If you've not tried it, come in store, go online, grab a bottle, give it a go.